Okay, so in the Imperial is a restaurant that everybody recommended to me at first, so I want to go have lunch at it. It's called The Spice Fruit. It's supposed to be a, a crazy fun experience with lots of good food, so we're going to try it out. And that's their Spice Fruit right here. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Uh, my name is Max. Yes, how, how are you, Max? Good. How can I help you? I had an appointment for 12.30. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's under the name Mr. Max or Ferlin? Uh, McFarland, sorry. Okay. Room 303. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yes. You want to have Hello, sir. How are you? I'm so sorry we're late. How are you doing? What's your name, Sandeep? My name is Sandeep, sir. Nice to meet you, Sandeep. Same here, sir. Uh, where would you like me to sit? Present, sir. You'll be three of you? Uh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> they are very late. I'm sorry for being late. Sir. Beautiful restaurant. Yes. I hope you go for it. Perfect, right here. You mind if I sit here? Thank you so much. How are you, sir? Awesome, ready. Thank you, Sandeep. Uh, almost like you're in my kind of like a temple or something, isn't it? It's very nice. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, that'd be great. Can I get some still water, please? This is the wine list and please. Okay, I got the wine list here. Perfect, thank you so much. All right, so I'm actually got some friends coming, but a little late, got stuck in Delhi traffic. I want to come in here and just sit down for my reservation because I felt weird with the reservation waiting on me. Uh, but they'll be here soon. I was out in Old Delhi yesterday and they just took care of me. So I kind of wanted to just like, you know, give back and keep the good karma going around in full circle. So I invite them here to the Spice Fruit in the Imperial today. So they'll hopefully be here in five or so minutes and we're gonna have a good lunch. They got Malabar mean curry. Malabar curry is like one of the first things I ever cooked from India. I don't know why I was like, wanted to try Indian food for the first time ever. I was looking through a blog and I saw Malabar chicken curry. It was like the first thing I've ever made. What next? Awesome, thank you so much. You're good, man. Hey, hey, how are you? I thought y'all stood me up for a second. Y'all good, take a seat, take a seat. Sorry, man. No, you're good, man. As long as you made it, y'all okay? Y'all good? <laughs> nice to see y'all, nice to see y'all. <laughs> I ordered a drink, though. <laughs> uh, long story, bro. No, you're good, man. Y'all made it, that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show something. I went to the uh, Gurdwara of Mangla Sahib, that temple yeah. which we were talking about. I went today. There's a uh, festival today. All right. So I went there. I parked my car outside to come fast and take it. Yeah. Suddenly my car got towed. They got it. <laughs> Let me see who this car I have no Perfect. shoes in my foot. You're good, bro. Next Is that a good one? Yeah. You want to try? Oh, that's fine. You should try. Just try. Signature cocktail, Tommy Martini, if you want to. Oh, you got the martini as well. That's Tom your martini, Thai yeah. flavors with clung with cup lime. That's good. Yeah. Well, you can try that one and then go back and forth. But I don't like it spicy or that, that cream chili flavor. Oh. Okay. Chuck the footy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Punjabi word, chuck the footy. Okay. And that's also a Punjabi version of L I A D. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, go for this. What are you hungry for? They got like, seems like they do kind of like, you can tell like in what here. What are you going to have? I'm going to have a same Oh, we're gonna share That's everything, right. don't worry. That's probably cool. But it seems like they do like Thai what food. What have your taste for? Seems like they got some southern food. You wanna keep it veg? Yeah, veg. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. She's uh, vegetarian. Right, perfect. Let's keep it veg then. But we, if we need, we can have a non veg. Nah. Both of us. If you want. Nah, actually, you know, I can eat veg in India. It's pretty easy to do. <laughs> you told me this yesterday. Like, you like uh, more than non veg, you like a veg. So these are the two best sellers over here non veg and two veg. Okay. Well, which one you recommend first? And the which one? I think Fakhrov and something. That's what I said. These two are the good to go. Okay, we'll do, definitely do a Fakhrov. Yes, sir. First sauce is chili and then I go with okay. onion, cucumber, and chili. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So, y'all went to, how long were y'all at the uh, temple for? Just for 15 minutes. Uh huh. Wow, well, when it got towed that fast. Right. In just 15 minutes because. Uh, Here's some veg crackers, rice and lentil. Okay. Let's try the prawn crackers, sir. Yeah, sure, let's try. I went for just 15 minutes because there is a uh, festival today. Right. So I went just for the virtual and come back. That's fine. Is that right? Can you park my car? <laughs> I'll just ask her. <laughs> then there is one person who told, like a driver, your car got torn. Oh, okay. man. Worst feeling I ever. I don't have shoes. I have nothing on my foot. Either she don't have it because everything is on the car. <laughs> <laughs> then I just took an auto and, then and went to the place. To get your car. Right. Man, did you have to pay anything to get it back? Like, 
Oh Positive man. Face. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Look at that blue one. Check that for That pen. one yours, right? Check that for <laughs> You're gonna chug it, that's huge. You can try this. Nah, let's go. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Thanks again for coming. What'd you use? That watermelon juice? Uh, strawberry cooler. Oh, nice. Thank you. Okay, here we got. Let's have some like. Just fried up some vegetables. Got it in some sauce, bro. With the cyst. Much appreciated. Oh. Look at all the lights working here. It's dark in here. Fried spring roll, ready to go. They don't have any chili sauce. Right? They got the sriracha. That's the ketchup. If you want. That's the ketchup. No. That's a chili. There's some That's sriracha there. That's a chili. <laughs> she called Whoa. the chili chili. It's so hot. <laughs> Yeah, because your spice tolerance so high. <laughs> I like spicy food. Uh, so you really like spicy food. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. i never seen anything like this in Thailand. They just fried all the vegetables up. Ooh. Whoa. It's kind of like tangy and spicy. A little fried crunch. I like that. Did y'all have a lussy before you came here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. I knew you were good people to make friends with. And you're like, I had a lussy before we went to eat. <laughs> that sounds like good people. I want to show you something. I want to see how you feel about it. Hold on. Oh, I lost it. Let me find it. Oh, yes, right there. You see that? I'm so curious how they how, do, how they feel about this. What do you think about this? The dog chow sushi. I don't like sushi. <laughs> Have you seen I that? Show you one more thing about this. Like, if you're showing me this, let me show you something. <laughs> I saw that today. Have you seen it? Yes. Oh man. This is Madura. Okay. This is Chole. This is milk and is that ice cream. cream? No. <laughs> How about this? Chole Madura ice cream. <laughs> Have you ever tried Ras Malai? Yeah. Of course. I'm okay with it, but you know everybody. Have a milk cake? I don't know. <sighs> you know, jalebi, gulab jamun. They're all very popular, but that's kind of like no offense. It's kind of like the loser pick. You don't know Indian food, so you pick that. But yes. you know Indian food, you pick you're something different. Milk cake, right. You're gonna pick exactly. like milk cake, you're gonna pick even if you're where you're from, you're from like Kolkata, you probably pick Sandesh. When you're having a full uh, when you're having a first time or like two different times Indian food, then you're gonna pick it was some like, it was good love, you mostly heard about jalebi. Them. Right. You heard about that. But when you know what's up, you're picking things like milk cake, exactly. you're picking things like that. <laughs> I can have milk cake anytime. No cake with like flavored dude at night. This is what in my mouth. I'm just going to say this. Yeah. I suddenly said this. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you. With a hot milk. Hot milk and, and a milk cake. Milk cake. So I'm just going to say this. All right. Small plant. Nice and thick. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, a little bit. Hey, you gotta try some new stuff, man. <laughs> the fragrance of this, the aroma is coming good. Yeah, you have aroma. lots of curry leaf, right? You can the see aroma the, is good. You see the fried curry leaf on there? Right there. Look at that curry right there. It looks incredible. Just got some stir fried vegetables, mushrooms here, rice. But I'm excited about that. Look at them curry leaves. Yeah, the bread. The bread looks nice. It's a good one. Yes, yeah, what I like Malibu. right here. Mm. This is stuff I like. This is Malabar. It's more parata. like a lecha you can say. Yeah, it's very lecha parati. What's the difference though? Like uh, the lecha parati is made of wheat, I believe so. Uh -huh. It's made of meadow. Ah, uh, okay. Sunflower, you can see. Ooh, I love that though, the layers. Wow, it's a lot of curry leaf. It's good. That's good. You know, I mean, I don't know. When you got paratha like this, I think I could eat anything. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try the chef special though. It's like sweet soy sauce, bok choy, mushroom. It's all good. It's good to me. It's about the Kerala curry with the paratha. That's where it's at. All right, just finished eating. We're going to learn about the restaurant for a little bit, then we got something special. My so, is a perfect, thank you. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Doing well. So we can just have a small tour of the restaurant. Okay. 
So this might be wondering why this is a small tour. So this whole restaurant took around seven and a half years to create. Right. Everything is hand painted with organic colors. And the design of the restaurant, Mr. Rajiv Sethi. Okay. So this, everything is hand painted. As I told you, is a particular theme, which is journey of life. We have a small tour, starting from the entrance, we'll just go around the whole restaurant. Right. To the center. Okay. Divided into nine parts. Each part has a particular name and significance of pillar. Perfect. So let's begin with the tour. Okay. This restaurant, this is the starting one, this is the knowledge section. Because when we get born, so what we get, we get the knowledge, the first thing. That's the knowledge section. And you can also notice the 11 pillars in the small section. You can see 11 one. Mm -hmm. 11 right here. And this is a small section. This showcase you just have a strong base of knowledge. Okay. And these four you see over here, these wooden ones, are more than 400 year old. Wow. 16th century India, from a Guru Vayur temple in Kerala. So this is brought from here. And okay. Also, you might have noticed the pathway is quite narrow. Right, Most yeah. All the restaurants and all the places have wider entrances, but this one has a very narrow entrance, just for a single person to cross. The reason being, in journey of life, we comes alone and goes alone. That's the reason. And over here, whole restaurants fill the different deities from Hindu mythology. This over here is the picture of Goddess Kali. She's supposed to be the most supreme being in the whole universe. She's lifting an elephant in her mouth and flying in the sky. The reason for her in this section is because the most powerful asset is knowledge. Okay, can I, I just want to see right here, show everybody. Oh wow. And this is all hand paint. All hand painted, all organic color. No all organic, painting. nothing artificial. Like picking some flower, vegetables, leaves, that's all used. And interesting fact is, since the opening of the restaurant, the work started in 1990, completed in 1998. Mm -hmm. It has never been renovated or repainted again. Wow. It has been like this since then. Amazing. Now, now we get, once we get knowledge, we start getting desires. This is the second section, which is desires of life. Got three part, Artha, Kama and Moksha. Artha is the materialistic desires of people. Like you see people are enjoying with the materialist things. This, and here's a story of one of the incarnation of God Vishnu. In Hindu mythology, we believe that there are three main gods. One is Brahma, who creates the universe. Second is Vishnu. You can see over here. Vishnu is the one who runs the whole universe and there's Shiva who destroys the universe, makes space for Brahma to create more universe. So he took form of, he totally have nine incarnations in a human form. This is one of the, of a dwarf. Right. The story goes like this, there was a king of earth, Bali, and he was very proud and arrogant of being the king of the world. So God came to his doorstep in the form of a dwarf and asked for three feet of land. Being so arrogant, he just said that you can take three feet of land. And just when he said this, God took a huge form. In one feet, he covered all the land. In second feet, he covered all the sky. There was no place to keep the third feet. In the picture, you can see the king is offering the head to the God to keep the third feet on my head. And I'm also yours. That's how we, that's why we celebrate the famous Onam festival in Kerala. The boat race is being shown on the entrance. Right that here. That's being because of this event. Now that's the second most desire is Kama. There are 27 portions of Kama Sutra being displayed on the border, both sides. On the top is moksha, the ultimate salvation. So that's to get rid of the artha and karma, to just let rid of the cycle of birth and reborn. So over top you can see a picture of God, God's face is quite unclear because of these beams. The right. first starting one is a wooden one over there. The one over here? The first beam is a wooden one, the right. last beam is a wooden one. So that's the birth and that's the death. And to attain God you have to cross all these hurdles of life. Okay, so you cross all these hurdles starting from here. Working to here. To attain God. Okay. Now this is a section of help and support. So what's our biggest help? A family. This right. is a particular setting for a family dying together. Enclosed in pillar to give an illusion of your safety and security with the family. The most wider pillar as well in the whole restaurant to showcase that the biggest support for us is a family. And that's the story. So there's a door on the top. If you visit an ancient temple in India, there's always a door on the top. We have believed that gods enter from the top. That's where the door is placed on the top. So you can see the gaps on the sides. Yeah. There's some gaps. So it was said that the architect was, architecture was so great in the temple that the sun rays could directly pass through the sides, but the raindrops can't pass through it. Oh, wow. So that was the architect marvel over there. So the, which showcases that when you're with your family, they will just stop all the negativity, the rain will be stopped, and all the sun rays and the positivity will come to you. Oh. That's being showcased by, by this door. By the roof, right? By the roof. Nice. Or the other one. Okay. So narrow. Now this is a section of creativity and imagination. At the back is a picture, which is just an abstract art. Some pillars, some walls, some stairs, but just an abstract art, not a complete picture. Right. The reason behind this is, whenever I sit, sit over here, 
the guests will be intrigued to know what's going on, why is this half painted. So they will use the imagination, creativity to recreate the picture. Also, the be the most creative thing in a restaurant is the food. Right. We are having the kitchen right behind this wall. Oh, the, the kitchen's right back here. So the chefs are creating new dishes. Also, as I told you, whole restaurant is filled with the different stories of Hindu mythology. This picture when Hanuman, Lord Hanuman burned the golden lanka with right his tail on fire. And over here is when Lord Ram killed a demon in the form of a golden deer. These are the prime example of your creativity. When he was given, when Lord Hanuman was given a punishment by his tail lit on fire, he used this to burn the whole Lanka. And this, the creativity of demon, that he took a so great form of a golden deer that even God can't recognize him. Wow. And this also, you can see this one. Yes. This is Chaucer. It is supposed to be the first known board game to humankind. Okay. That was our Indus Valley civilization. These things have been found out. This section is not a section, just the entrance and exit to the restaurant. Mm. This over here is the goddess Annapurna. Anna in Sanskrit means food and Purna means to complete. She's a goddess of food and we worship her daily. There's a picture of her. So whenever the food enters into the restaurant, she's the one blessing the food for the guests. Oh, very nice. And back, there's an ancient technology lock system. So this was same from the temple Guru Bayur. It's also more than 400 year old. And there used to be huge granaries in India. Ancient India, there used to be huge granaries and locked by these kinds of door, these kinds of locks. So as the kitchen is right behind, this gives an illusion that the granaries right behind this. Okay. And over here is the picture of God Ganesha. Oh, there's Ganesha here, yeah. The body of a human and head right. of elephant. So he's a food lover. So whenever the plates, empty plates goes out, he's happy that the guests are happy having meal with us. Ah, uh, cool. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> over here, a section of love and relationship. Particular sitting for a couple dine together. Pillars are so placed that we cannot add on any more chair in the table. And also the wood used in the top is Indian rosewood. And the rose signifies love. That's been used over here. Let's talk about this pillar as well. This is the only monolithic stone pillar in the whole restaurant. Okay, this is the it's stone. Carved out of single rock. Single rock. Yeah, this is made of single rock. Yeah, this this only pillar is made out of single rock. That's all I cement or wood. Ooh. And this over here is the outdoor courtyard. That you see over there is the traditional Kantok sitting. The Thai sitting. Because of rain, we have just removed the sofas over there. But it's a lovely sitting and they have believed that when you in Thailand, that when you eat food, your food must always be at this level, above your belly. So table is so placed that when you sit over there, you pre pre place your feet underneath the table oh. and food will always be at this level. Why? They have believed in Thailand that when that you have food, you must be above the belly. Above. Above the belly yeah. oh. So that's how they believe. The table is so placed only. On the wall, you can see the, the Thai cave art or this Thai cave art being showcased. Oh, nice. It's total exclusive booking. And if you book that over there, this whole area will be blocked for you, decorated with candles and flour. Mm -hmm. listening. We only operate in winters and some when the cool weather is there. Right, right, right. Not in monsoon. No summer in Irwin, Delhi. <laughs> no 40 degree summertime. <laughs> and this is the stone pillar, wow. That's a stone pillar, only stone pillar. Now over here, in which you are sitting, yeah. this is a section of fate and fortune. In Hindu mythology, we believe that our whole life is governed by nine planets, right. like the nine planet solar system, Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury. So these are the nine, nine planets being showcased. And oh, right here. We call it Nakshatra. This is a wall of fortune. And also there's a small game for guests to play. So either one of these cubes can be removed and interchanged with okay. the other one you can find out. So, which are quite hard to find, you cannot find it easily. It will be hard to find this showcase with hard work and determination, you can change your whole life oh, and fortune. And this over here is the picture of Goddess Sita, the Ramayana epic in which Goddess Sita was taken away by a ten-headed demon and a vulture was trying to save her, his feathers were cut off. Uh -huh. Showcase your destiny. There's a vulture in the side, the feather being cut off, right. the illusion of ten heads of a demon and Goddess Sita crying. This uh -huh. showcase your destiny. Even being the goddess herself, she has to face the destiny. So if you have taken birth in this life, you have to face the hardships of life. This over here is from the another epic Mahabharata. They had a huge fight between two families. This a picture of Karna and Krishna and Arjun. Not Krishna, Arjun and Karna. So Karna's story goes like this. Karna was the most gallant warrior. He was the most strongest warrior in the Mahabharata. Just having a curse of, on him. That during his end time he will forget everything. Right. And his wheel will got stuck during the war. That's what is being showcased. His wheel of the chariot is stuck and he's trying to remove it. And this was known to only Lord Krishna. At that time he told Arjun that hit him at the back. That's how Karna was killed. This showcase your karma. 
even being the strongest one, he was killed because he did something bad in the past. Right. Now we come to a section of wealth. No picture in this section. Original 24 karat gold leaf on the wall. To give oh. the illusion of richness. Right. The, uh, the longest table in this whole restaurant. Just to showcase, if you get rich, you must treat others well. Right. And also, this is the golden Buddha in this section. Oh, nice. The reason for this is, if you get rich, you must be as calm as Buddha. Okay. Also, we are talking about the spiritual wealth, spiritual richness, not about the materialistic wealth. Mm -hmm. This is a Thai princess crown, which is a, a sign of auspiciousness and prosperity being kept over here. And this is the Indonesian Pali language scripture. There used to be an ancient language Pali in Indonesia. Right. That's the original scriptures being showcased over here. Okay. In the I think a lot of like Indonesian comes from Sanskrit too, right? Yeah. But the first language, most of the languages are derived from, most of the Indian and Asian languages are derived from Sanskrit only. Okay. Now this is a section of ancestors. If we look closely, we started with knowledge, we got desires, family, friends, love, everything. Right. So we are now attained everything, but we always forget to remember our ancestors. That's what the, this section is about. So just for their remembrance. This Thai K1 being showcased, all of the idols over here having their eyes shut. So these are the people we have lost in the journey of life. Okay. Also, if we stand over here, we can have a bird eye view of the every section of the restaurant. Uh, every nook and corner of the restaurant. Like ancestors see. looking over people? So yes, that's a, a ancestor having an eye on us from the heaven. Oh, that's cool. And, so you might be wondering what the spice route, where the name came from. Right. So that they, as there is a silk route in China, right. they used to transport silk to Europe and all nations. There used to be a silk, spice route in India as well. So the southern coast of India, Kerala is famous for spices throughout the world. So they used to transport spices from Kerala through Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia to Thailand. This is the whole spice route. There's a cuisine we serve over here. Right. And this is a small replica of the, that same spice boat through which they used to transport spices. Oh, nice. And being the most valuable commodity back then, they used to be hidden underneath. And that's how they used to transport it. Oh, hidden. nice. They put the spices in there. Under, under this to just hide it from the thieves and all. Nice. This is the last section. This is a section of good food, good life. What do we need at the end? We need good food and good life. Right. That's what the last section is. The orange rooftops you see is how the traditional Kerala house rooftops look like. And green one is how the Thai, traditional Thai rooftops look like. On the top is illusion of sky. So sitting in an open courtyard, having a lunch and dinner with the family and friends. Oh, and that, so sitting there's the head of the boat. And right. That is the tail of the boat. Uh, this is a wooden flooring. Right. Dock of a spice boat as well. We are traveling on a uh, spice so boat. it's like the spice boat right here, yeah. yeah. So that was the whole tour of the restaurant. If you take a detailed tour, this is one yeah. and hour to one and a half hour to complete the whole tour. No kidding, wow. Yeah, because that was amazing. They explain every story, every pillar out to you. Yeah, thank you so much. I would never have known that. That was actually really fascinating. Yes, sir. Hope thank you enjoyed it. I like the food, like yeah. the ambience. It was nice. Everything. The story is really interesting here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have um, a good bye -bye. night. Thank you. Good day. Yes, thank, thank you. Bye bye. That was interesting. Oh, I love that. Uh, it's actually so much thought and detail put into it that I wouldn't even like thank come you. to mind. Thank, thank you. you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, thank you so See much. You thank you. Bye bye. Oh, that was really fascinating. I think that's a cool place to come in and get the tour about and learn. The food makes more sense once you get in there, but no meal is complete without a sweet. No cake. <laughs> Bengali sweets. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm here for the milk cake. Hello. Are oh, we going this one? This is a food one. Oh, we need the sweets. Have we tried this meetup one? Have yeah, I've had pawn like this before. If it's pawn, I've probably had it. So we gotta come in here and get some sweets real quick. So they probably have like a lot of Bengali stuff here, like Sundesh and stuff. Burpee, burpee, burpee. Piece of scent. Right, what is it? Oh, yeah. Look at all the fruit stuff. Hey, that one's really, that one's famous for like certain time, rainy season, right? Exactly. This is called Giver. Yeah, it's like rainy season one, right? There where you can sing. Ah, here it is, right here. This is a cream one. It's really good. Thank you, sir. This is your potion brown one, huh? That's right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, brother. That's prepared with condensed milk and sugar. It's my favorite. Go cakes number one, man. It's so good. Mm. Nice. Have you tried this? I've not tried this. Short tapis. Short tapis. Wow, that's not short tapis. That's big piece. I have the soul. Oh. 
And this is the sweep, which is only made on Tuesday. On only on Tuesday. On Tuesday. This is uh, given by uh, the god. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's crazy. Like, birds are sweet. They're nice. They're crispy outside and the flip will Yeah, it's really nice. Dokla. Dokla. Have you fried? I've had this in uh, Gujarati and then in Indore. Exactly. Yeah. Basically from here. Okay, cool. Oh, they get the Malai roll. I had a Malai roll in uh, Lucknow. You want to fry? No, I've had before. Thank you. One for you. And you. Uh, so nice. Is it a go and catch you? Yeah. Go and catch you. Mr. Yeah. Boy yeah. yeah. with a beer. Kingfisher exactly. Ultra. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, boss. This is the what? Malai roll? Right. Try right. This. Yeah, I've had this one in uh, like. I think it was Lucknow. Oh, look at that. So creamy. It just melts in your mouth. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Nice and creamy. But it's good, huh? I love it. Oh. I had, in Lucknow, they have one, they called it like Malai Pond. Mm -hmm. So it was shaped like a pond. Right, pond but it was like that. Thank you, sir. Fresh. Oh, man. Fresh. You can, fresh. You can tell it's fresh by the way you, when you touch it. It's not hard at all. You see that glistening that is? Oh, man. This is the best stuff. When you get fresh milk cake, Best thing in the world right here. It's love. That's all you need. It's a good one. That's all you need. That's pretty good. I'll take this whole piece. Ooh. Oh, you don't need anything else in life when you have that. Mmm. The way it glistens, the way it's so soft, granular, melts in your mouth. You don't need anything else. Oh. Are you trying the skeleton? You actually have. I've had a clock on. You don't understand. My hobby is when I'm bored, I go to Indian sweet shops. My throat pita, you want half? Oh man. You're killing me here. Yeah. Make a lassi on Mathura and in Punjab. Oh, they add in Mathura. Right. In Mathura, they add in the lassi. Oh, no care, babe. I mean, to me, it's... It's good? Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of fruity, more like a fig or something. But also kind of got like a brown sugar, like jaggery flavor to it. Oh. Well, this is my piece. Okay, the rest, y'all can have that. That's fair. Oh. I need a nap. I need, I need like, somebody... I have, I have diabetes. Oh. Who buys the choco pies? You got all this good stuff. Why would you want a choco pie? Y'all are insane. Come on, give me a hug. Thank you, brother. Man, I can't wait to come back and see y'all. This is too much. This is not too much. It is this too is much. nothing. Trust me. Thanks so this much. Is nothing. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Wish y'all the best of luck. I'll message you when I come back. Sure. All right, thank y'all so much. Much appreciated. Right, take care. Bye. Oh, uh, I'm so grateful for this. My, my KG is sweets and everything. And just getting to hang out with them. Such a good time. We got some big trips planned in the future. So I can't wait to get back here.